what's going on everybody this is your boy man up i'm coming at you with another video same thing different person <sighs> this is like the fourth time i heard this so far during these uh pandemics where the kids are going back to school to you know all this homeschooling fourth grader suspended for having a bb gun in his bedroom doing virtual reality doing virtual learning excuse me First time I heard about it as a kid with a toy gun that you can actually tell it was a toy gun. Second time, it was something similar, but not gun. It was uh, mom smoking weed and drinking while trying to help the kids. Uh, there was another time where a kid actually had waving a gun. Then, now this one. Nine-year-old Louisiana student was suspended after a teacher reported seeing a gun in the boy's bedroom during a virtual class. This is why all, I've been saying that it's not good to have these kids at home. Well, one of the reasons. I get it. There's a pandemic. You want to keep your kids safe. Nothing wrong with that. Now, before I continue, as a reminder, I am going to just scroll up, let you read this while I get my thoughts on this. Now, like I was saying, nothing's wrong with the homeschool learning, but you're comfortable in your own settings. You're comfortable at home doing whatever it is that you want to do. And that can create some problems. Like I said before, I used to work from home a long time ago. Back in, I want to say like 2001, maybe? 2000? Something like that. I forget exactly. No. Yeah, it was like 2001, whatever. But anyway, and to me, that was the hardest job because when you're at home in your own comfortable settings, you feel like you can go on break when you want to, have lunch as long and whenever you want to, relax and chill. That's just me. I know that doesn't uh, mean nothing to everybody, but to me personally, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't. I don't know, just couldn't sit still. <laughs> but it just, that's why I say, as you can see here, it's the same thing with a lot of other people. You're in your comfortable settings. You're not going to do everything that you know you're supposed to. You got toys at home. You got your video games. You, you can get up and go eat whenever you want. You can get up and go do whatever. And that's basically what these kids are doing. They are basically doing whatever it is that they want to do. And that's what I t I've been saying a lot. This is not a good. Also, too, I think it is kind of good because with this pandemic, it can teach a lot of these kids that things are not going to go the way you want. And when something go bad, you can always find ways to make it better. So, with all this being said, though, I am just wondering, you know, what is what is going to end up happening later on in the future with all of this? What is going to this is going to end up telling the government, telling our country, telling the world? Was you know. It's not a good thing. It's really not. Especially for kids. It's not a good thing to... To... to, to have, I don't know. But when you, it's like I said, when you're at home in your own comfortable settings, these kids are not going to focus like they should. These kids are not going to do the things that they know they should be doing or should not be doing. These kids are going to say, hmm, I'm at home. I'm finna go do this. Because you know these kids has a short attention span. I know with this situation though, the kid, they saying that the kid had a BB gun in his room. And what this is going to end up saying, like I said, this is just telling these uh, kids, this should tell these parents, I should, I should say, that, these kids, your kids is not as innocent as you may think. 
this should also tell these uh, parents, keep an eye out on your kids. Because whatever's going on, trust me, these schools are recording everything that they're saying and doing. It's getting recorded. And if something goes the way it shouldn't be going, oh, these schools are all ready to call the cops. So with all that being said, I do not think this is a good idea, homeschooling at all. Because these kids don't have a good attention span. They're not focused. They're going to do stuff that they should not be doing. Me personally, my daughter gets up and goes to school. I make sure that she be safe, though. I make sure she washes her hands. She has her hand sanitizer. She has her Clorox wipes. Uh, all that good stuff. She wears a mask. It, I mean, everything. But I do make sure that my daughter is safe. Now, like I said before, every now and then her school says, oh, we're going to do homeschooling. I guess it's just a practice just in case they really have to do that. And even when my daughter's at home, I make sure her laptop is right in front of her. Right behind her is an old grandfather's clock. <laughs> and that's it. She's not in her room. She's not in my room. She's not in my man cave. She's in the living room. And I'm mindful of everything that's around her. I'm already mindful when I'm at home and she's not at school or doing anything. Because I'm not trying to bring all this negative attention around my, my daughter. All these negative things or possibly negative things like a gun could be possibly positive negative positive B uh, whatever I can't talk straight now <laughs> it could pro probably be, be negative there we go <laughs> but all I'm saying is one way or another we have to be mindful of what's around our kids what our kids are around because it can't end up hurting them I know a lot of people like to say this is my house I'm going to do what I want you can't tell me nothing. I know that's what a lot of parents like to say. True, that's your house. But what I have learned, even though it is your house, people can still tell you what to do. So with all that being said, this is another thing. It can also cause the parents to get in some kind of trouble as well. The parents can also get in some kind of trouble if they don't be mindful of what's going on. So, all I'm saying is, at the end of the day, let's pay attention to what it is that we are doing. Because that's a BB gun. Guess what they could have done? They could have had the parents arrested. They could have confiscated that gun. Now this child is suspended, not going to get their education. Like I said, this is like maybe the fourth incident, maybe more. I, I can't keep count of it. It's too many now. <laughs> but this is like the fourth incident where this has happened. And it, it, it got to come to a point to where parents have to understand. If you're going to do certain things in your home, that's fine. Nobody can tell you what to do in your home. But you do have to be mindful of situations like this. Your kids are basically in school. There's virtual reality. There's not virtual reality, excuse me. These online classes, they are technically in school. And they're not supposed to have anything around them that they not that's not supposed to be there. Doesn't matter if an adult is there, they still are not supposed to. So with all that being said, I am going to go ahead and chunk the deuce. This is your boy, Man Up. Holla at everybody.